What's going on YouTube? I hope you are well. Welcome to today's vlog. It's kind of awkward. We're in my bathroom. Um, that's why it's echoing so bad. But I actually just finished a little ranty rant over on my Instagram story about this. So I thought it'd be a good time to document this and, and make this, I don't know, part one, I guess. Not really part one. I'm not sure. Anyway, so basically what's going to happen is I think it's about time for me to lean back into my fat loss phase now that so much of my hormone stuff is taken care of. So if you did not watch the last vlog about me officially being on testosterone, um, I would go watch that so you get a really good idea of what's going on. But for those of you fuckers who won't go do that, I'll give you the synopsis right here. I have taken a break from my personal fat loss phase and the aesthetic goals that I have. I'm definitely heavier than what I want to be. I'm not as lean as I want to be. And I'm personally not happy with my body right now, but forcing fat loss and forcing into like a deficit was not a good idea because the whole reason I got on testosterone was because weight loss stuff was not going very well when actions and habits were on point. Like I talked about in that vlog, it just because weight loss is not very easy doesn't mean that you need to go get on hormone replacement therapy or anything like that. But what I am saying is uh, if your hormones are messed up and are not in a good place, you're fighting a huge uphill battle. That's why I personally wanted to go get my testosterone checked and it was tanked. It was not in a good place. Place. It was barely 300, um, so it made so much sense why I had to take calories so low, why I felt like shit, my recovery was like shit, and just the whole situation was shit. But now, we're about, I don't know, four-ish months into it. My testosterone has over doubled. We're sitting about 750 right now. My recovery's better, I feel better. So many things are better. So ideally, my BMR should be better. So now I don't have to take calories so low, and so now it's more appropriate to go into fat loss. Because with hormones being out of whack, just trying to force fat loss in my case with having to basically take my calories extremely low and not recovering and feeling like shit and all this stuff being out of whack, it's just not a good idea. But now things are in a much better place. I have been patient and like not tried to force fat loss for several months now um, while things are kind of healing and getting in a good spot. So now I think we're officially gonna lean into fat loss now because it's definitely more appropriate. So I'm gonna get a first weigh in and see where things are at. I have no idea what I weigh to be honest with you because this we moved and I have not seen the scale since we moved, but my wife found it. So uh, I'm going to weigh myself for the first time. I have no idea what I weigh, but I'm going to keep my clothes on because I don't want you to scold me for being naked in front of you. So yeah. So you and I are going to find out together what my first official weigh in is. Let's turn it on. Two thirty three point two. All right, so first official weigh in is two thirty three point two. Um, to be honest, I thought I was going to be up a little bit because last time I did weigh myself like a minute ago, um, it was like two thirty five, but which is pretty cool. That's pretty exciting because I have definitely not been like trying to be in a deficit. Uh, I haven't been eating like an asshole by any means, but I've not been like actively trying to eat in a deficit and stuff. So the fact that my weight has already started to go down a little bit is a pretty cool sign. For context, I'm about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, on a really good day. So in 232, this goes to show the scale is just a number so to not put meaning to it because a lot of people go, oh my gosh, that's so heavy. But here's the other thing. I get told by a lot of people, they're like, I never would have guessed you weighed 230. You know, like, am I shredded? No. Am I trying to get crazy shredded? No. But th what's interesting is in my case, I've never like weighed light. Back when I thought I was a bodybuilder and I was like the lowest weigh in I ever got to was like 177, 180. Me weighing like back in the day when I was weighing like 177, 180, I literally did not look healthy. I looked like my neck looked super long. I was super pale. I looked tiny. Um, I looked like sickly. People asked if something was wrong with me. So for me personally, I just know with my body, I always weigh heavier. So which just goes to show like, don't be too tied to a scale number. You know, you're gonna, I'm gonna have some assholes that are like, oh my gosh, you're with your height, you should never weigh that much. And it's like, okay, go away. Like don't put all the meaning to a scale number. We're just using the scale as a data point with metrics and that's it. So hopefully this was helpful.
and we're back in the kitchen. So I have my Flex Pro meal because I was actually getting ready to eat and I'm like, you know what? I should probably make this vlog. So we're just making this my starting point vlog. Like this is, we're just calling this the starting point because I don't want this video to be too long. So here's where I'm gonna start my nutrition numbers because I'm a bigger fan, even though yes, I've been doing this fitness and coaching thing for a while, especially like starting out, I'm a big fan even still dialing in where my calories are at. It's just because it, it, it holds me personally more accountable and then I know exactly where things need to be adjusted. So for me, I'm not doing a big macro split. I'm not like breaking down like carbs, fats, and proteins just because I don't want to. Um, I don't think there's a need to unless you're doing some like crazy high performance, high level shit. So I'm, I'm just gonna do like we teach clients. We're gonna, I'm gonna dial in my calories and my protein intake and have my favorite foods all in that, eat mostly whole foods, drink lots of water, but I'm not gonna change that much stuff because the reality is you don't have to. I'm gonna be following the exact same protocols and principles we teach all of our clients in 180 Impact, our coaching program, where it's about doing as little as possible to cause a max amount of benefit, which impacts your day-to-day, -day, or in this case, my day-to-day, -day, as little as possible. So I'm gonna tell you where I'm gonna start and then I'm gonna tell you my rationale behind it. So I'm gonna start my calories, 3,000 to like 32-ish hundred calories a day. I'm a big fan of giving ranges, like even when we coach people, we like to give ranges, that way it's less rigid and it leaves a little bit of room for fluctuating and, and things like that. And I'm gonna put my protein, my protein's actually been low lately, so I'm gonna put my protein around 180 to 200 grams a day. That's where I'm gonna start. And here's the thing, to be honest with my calorie stuff, this is, there's a level of like shot in the dark and adjusting from there. Welcome to how this actually goes. Because the reality is with my calories, I'm in kind of a weird spot because I've never been on hormones before. Like I said, I'm on testosterone, my test is a little over doubled right now. We've got a lot of new variables. Even like my doctor talks about like, especially from the aesthetic side of things and nutritionally and that kind of stuff, I won't get the max amount of benefits of my testosterone therapy until I'm like six months in. So this whole game is nothing but about tweaking and adjusting, that's it. It's like we tell clients, there's no one size magic fits all formula. It's all about what's happening in real time right in front of us. Because I know I've probably been averaging around that, so I'm gonna start there. I'm always a fan of starting high and then dropping low as needed versus start super low and then it'd be unsustainable or anything like that and then we'll see what kind of progress I make if I start losing around a pound half a pound pound a week then I'm in a sweet spot I'm in a great place if I don't lose any weight or I gain weight then my calories may be too high I know last time before I started getting on testosterone um, I was having to keep my calories like around 2,000 which was just for for me and my activity and my age and like with everything in my day-to-day -day, that's way too low in my opinion so um, and then finding out my test was only 300 that made a lot of sense so I'm gonna start around 3,000, 3,200, right in that range, and then I'm gonna audit progress from there, just like we would a client, and that's what is gonna happen. So I'll take you guys along for the ride. Let me know in the comments if you have questions or thoughts or anything like that. Be sure and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that way you know as this game continues on, and I will talk to you soon.